highs in the lower 40s. Listening to NOAA Weather Radio in Bridgeport, Ohio on a frequency of 162.525 MHz. The preceding tone signals were a test of the alarm device of this weather radio station. During potentially dangerous weather situations, specially built receivers will be automatically activated by these tones to warn of impending hazards. Tests of these receivers are conducted by the National Weather Service between 11 a.m. and 12 noon on each Wednesday. This radio station, WWF-35, serves the following counties in East Central Ohio, Athens, Belmont, Carroll, Columbiana, Coshocton, Guernsey, Harrison, Jefferson, Monroe, Morgan, Muskingum, Noble, Tuscaroras, and Washington. And these counties in northern West Virginia, Brook, Hancock, Marshall, Ohio, Pleasance, Ritchie, Tyler, Wetzel, Word, and Wood. And finally, these counties in southwestern Pennsylvania, of Green and Washington. The National Weather Service now returns to the regular broadcast. hazards know a weather radio warning device. During potentially dangerous weather situations, specially built weather radios will be automatically activated to warn of the impending hazards. Tests of these radios and the warning alarm system will be conducted by the National Weather Service every Wednesday between 11 a.m. and noon. If there is a threat of severe weather, the test will be postponed to the next available good weather day. Reception of this broadcast and the warning alarm will vary at any given location. This variability, normally more noticeable at greater distances from the transmitter, will occur even though you are using a good quality receiver in perfect working order. To provide the most consistent warning service possible, the warning alarm will only be activated for warnings in selected watches affecting the listening area. At 13 miles an hour. Proceeding was a test of the National Weather Service Emergency Warning System from Atlanta, KEC-80. This test is conducted at approximately 11.30 each Wednesday morning, weather permitting. If this had been an actual emergency weather situation, the warning alarm would have been followed by an actual watch or warning. Reception of this broadcast and the warning alarm will vary at any given location. This variability, normally more noticeable at greater distances from the transmitter, will occur even if you are using a quality receiver in perfect working order. To provide the most consistent warning service possible, the warning alarm will normally be activated for warnings in selected watches within a 40-mile radius of your transmitter. This area includes the following counties in the Atlanta listening area. Cherokee, Clayton, Cobb, DeKalb, Douglas, Fayette, Forsyth, Fulton, Gwinnett, Henry, Newton, Rockdale, and Walton. This concludes the weekly test of the warning alarm system. We now return to our normal weather broadcasting. test of the NOAA Weather Radio All Hazards Warning Device for Station KIH-28 in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. During potentially dangerous weather situations, specially built receivers are automatically activated to warn of the impending hazard. Tests of the signal are normally conducted by the National Weather Service in Mount Holly, New Jersey every Wednesday between 11 a.m. and noon. 
If there is a threat of severe weather during the normal test time, the test will be postponed to the next good weather day. Reception of this broadcast, and especially the warning alarm tone, will vary at any given location. This variability, normally more noticeable at greater distances from the transmitter, can occur even though you are using a good quality receiver in perfect working order. The warning alarm tone will be activated for hazardous weather watches and warnings for the following counties and marine areas near the city of Philadelphia, in Pennsylvania, Berks, Bucks, Chester, Delaware, Montgomery and Philadelphia. In New Jersey, Burlington, Camden, Cumberland, Gloucester, Hunterdon, Mercer, Monmouth and Salem. In Delaware, Kent and Newcastle, including Upper Delaware Bay. And in Maryland, Cecil, including Chesapeake Bay north of Pools Island. This concludes the weekly test of NOAA Weather Radio All Hazards, station KIH 28 in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Thank you for listening to NOAA Weather Radio All Hazards. A civil authority has issued a required weekly test for Benton, Washington, Franklin, Washington, and Walla Walla, Washington, beginning at 11.44 a.m. November 24, 2021, and ending at 12.14 p.m. November 24, 2021. This is Franklin County Emergency Management conducting a required weekly test of the emergency alert system. If this were an actual emergency, the system would bring you important information. The following tones will conclude this test. The preceding was a test of the National Weather Service warning alarm tone. During potentially dangerous weather situations, specially equipped receivers are automatically activated to warn of the impending hazard. Tests of these receivers by this system are normally conducted by the National Weather Service every Wednesday between 11 a.m. and noon. When there is the threat of or existing severe weather in the area on Wednesday, the test is postponed until the next available good weather day. The warning alarm, transmitted over National Weather Service radio stations in North Central and Northeast Illinois, will be activated for watches and or warnings, affecting all counties in North Central and Northeast Illinois, as well as counties in far Northwest Indiana. Reception of this broadcast in the alarm tone will vary at any given location. This variability, normally more noticeable at a distance from a given transmitter, will occur even though you are using a good quality receiver in perfect working order. This concludes the tone alarm test. We will now return to our regular program. Snow and blowing snow may reduce visibility and create slick roof. by KW in 39. Yellowstone National Park by W in G686 and W in G667. Eastern Park County by W in G563. Bighorn and Washakie County by W in G568. Carbon County of Montana by W in G563. Park County of Montana by W in G686. During potentially dangerous weather situations, Specially built receivers can be automatically activated by the signal to warn of the impending hazards. Tests of the signal and the receiver's performance are normally conducted by the National Weather Service between 11 a.m. and 1 p.m. on each Wednesday. If there is a threat of severe weather, the test will be postponed until the next available good weather day. Reception of this broadcast, and especially the warning alarm, will vary at any given location. This variability can occur even though you are using a good quality receiver that is in good working order. We now return to our regular programming. This is a required monthly test of the emergency alert system. Had this been an actual emergency or dangerous situation, official messages and directions would have followed the alert tones. 
This test is brought to you by the Florida Division of Emergency Management, the Florida Association of Broadcasters, and your local broadcast station or cable provider. This concludes the required monthly test. miles an hour. Manhattan, Minnesota, has just activated the warning alarm on 13 weather radio stations across central and southern Minnesota and west central Wisconsin. During dangerous weather situations, these specially built radios are automatically activated to warn for the hazard. Tests of these radios are normally conducted by the National Weather Service in Chanhassen every Wednesday at 1 p.m. If severe weather threatens the area near the normal test time, the test will be postponed until the next good weather day. The warning alarm will be activated for selected watches, warnings, and statements affecting central and southern Minnesota and west central Wisconsin. This concludes the test of the warning system. We now return to normal programming. Now return to our recorded programming. 